Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to the Playing Trains and Comic Books channel. My name's Matt, and today we're going to review Behold Behemoth number one. But before we get into that, if you guys wouldn't mind like, sharing, subscribing, commenting, it really helps me out and lets me know what you guys want to see more of. So, with that being said, let's get straight into it. All right, we got the cover here for Behold Behemoth number one. It is a Boom Studios comic. And it is by Tate Bomdol and Nick Robles. And we start off with our main character, Grayson, at the funeral of his brother, who was a policeman that died in duty. And while Grayson's giving his eulogy, his head begins to spin. He begins to get kind of dizzy and disoriented. And then all of a sudden, he begins to have a flashback to when they were kids. And that disorientation leads to a memory that he has with him and his brother when they were younger as foster children. But then that memory leads into a vision of hell and his brother there now calling out to Grayson. And when he snaps back to reality, it seems like he's lost some time. He doesn't remember what happened in between when the memory started and the end of the funeral. So he decides to keep going on with his day and just go back to work. And it turns out he's a child services worker. So he goes to check on some foster kids that he is responsible for. And while he's there, he's talking to the dad. And he mentions that the school has said that the kids have missed a lot of days recently. And when he goes to talk to the daughter, he sees that she has a black eye. And when he sees this, all of a sudden we start getting flashes of hell again. Again. and then it seems like Grayson is in some sort of trance and as he walks towards the dad we get inner cuts of Grayson's brother killing demons in hell and then we cut to some time later and it seems that Grayson has once again lost time because he wakes up in a bathtub and he doesn't know how he got here from that house and just as he's getting out of the water the police are at his door and they tell him that he needs to come with them and they take him back to the house that he was just at and it seems like there was an earthquake here, but the police are discovering that everybody has been killed except that little girl, and it wasn't from the earthquake. And that's where I'm going to stop it. I don't want to spoil anything else. So it seems like this week is all about hell with the indie comics. We had Hell to Pay that I reviewed yesterday, and we got Behold Behemoth today. But the cool thing is they're completely different stories. I really like the way that Behold Behemoth is intercutting hell with the real world, and we're seeing that whenever that happens, Grayson is losing time. And that pacing really added to the feel of the story. It definitely made it more intriguing and made me want to figure out what was going to happen next. And the art in this book is really good too. I think the art really shines when we get those big double page spreads. There's at least a couple in here, one of hell and one on earth after a bunch of natural disasters that really kind of sets the tone and just look really awesome. So I like this book, but it is a bit of a slow burn. They don't give you everything right away and you have to pay attention as you follow along to make sure you understand what's going on in the cuts between hell and earth. But that's mostly at the beginning because by the end of it, the book sets a different pace and it seems like going forward that pace might change. So I'm going to give this book a 3.5 out of 5. The writing was solid. The art was great. So if you saw anything you like, definitely go pick it up at your local comic book store. And we will see you all in the next one.